Dear viewers, 89% of you watch me consistently and have not yet subscribed. Please do so, as I'm planning on making some changes to my channel. So please give me your feedback and suggestions in the comment section as to what you would like to see more of on this channel. Welcome to the Hallet Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, 10 Reasons Why Marriage is No Longer in the Best Interests of American Men. Marriage, once viewed as a cornerstone of stability of the family in American society, is increasingly seen as a risky proposition for men Changing society norms, family law practices, and shifting female behavior have drastically altered the dynamics of marriage, leaving many men to question whether it's worth the cost. Today, I'm going to outline 10 key reasons why marriage is no longer in the best interest of American men. Number one, family law is hostile to men. One of the most compelling reasons for men to avoid marriage is the inherent bias in family law. Men who enter marriage do so with the risk of facing a divorce system that often prioritizes the interest of women, especially regarding the custody and financial settlements. The alimony system compensates women for their perceived lost career opportunities, even if it was their choice to prioritize child rearing. In most cases, courts award child custody to the mother, even when both parents are equally capable and when it was the woman who committed adultery. For instance, the no-fault divorce laws in states like California allow women to file for divorce without having to prove any wrongdoing by the husband. This leads to scenarios where men lose custody of their children and pay exorbitant sums in child support and alimony, even if they are not the primary breadwinners. Yet. The law ignores study data, which is the reason single mother households are more prevalent. The Harper McLanahan 2004 study shows that children, particularly boys, in single father households often fare better in specific areas of development. Research suggests that single fathers tend to enforce stricter discipline fostering greater self-regulation and responsibility in their children. This firm approach to discipline, coupled with a higher likelihood of involving children in household responsibilities, is linked to better psychological adjustment and life skills. Statistically, boys and girls raised by single fathers show fewer behavioral problems and a reduced risk of delinquency compared to those raised by single mothers. Some girls raised by single fathers may experience lower self-esteem and difficulties in intimate relationships. However, those who do not tend to make better relationship choices in men later on in life. Two, financial risk is too high. Marriage can drain men financially, both during the relationship and in the event of a divorce. Child support payments alone can run into the thousands of dollars per month, and that doesn't include alimony, property division, and other post-marriage expenses. Statistically, men fare worse after divorce financially, often losing over half of their assets. Studies show that at least 45% of marriages end in divorce, 
and nearly 70% of divorces are initiated by women. In a divorce, men often face financial ruin as courts frequently rule in the favor of women, forcing the man to sacrifice a significant portion of his earnings and wealth. 3. Changes in Female Behavior The modern social climate has altered the traditional dynamics of many relationships. Many women now focus on career advancement and personal independence leading to a more transactional approach to marriage. Social media has heightened women's sensitivity to social expectations, leading them to prioritize image over substance. This has translated into an increased desire for materialistic lifestyles, resulting in pressure on husbands to meet those ever-changing and often very delusional expectations. When the marriage becomes more about meeting social standards and less about genuine partnership, men often feel marginalized and nothing more than an ATM. 4. Lack of Reciprocity and Emotional Support In many marriages, Men find themselves giving more emotionally than they receive. Cultural expectations reinforce the idea that men must be providers and protectors, even when they are struggling emotionally or mentally. Many men often feel like they are part of the furniture, easily replaced and unappreciated. While men strive to protect and honor their families, these efforts are rarely reciprocated to the same extent. Over time, this imbalance can lead to deep feelings of dissatisfaction and resentment. Stay to the end for my suggestions on how to protect yourself if you ever decide you want to get married. 5. Decline of Traditional Gender Roles the roles of men and women in marriage have significantly shifted. Once, marriage was a mutual partnership where each spouse had defined roles, and men as providers and women as nurturers. Today, those roles are increasingly blurred, with many men finding that their contributions are no longer valued in the way they once were. As more women join the workforce and become financially independent, they may no longer see the need for traditional support from their husbands, which can lead to a loss of respect for men's roles within the family. Number six, children become financial and emotional burdens. While many men enter marriages hoping for partnership, they often end up with a managerial relationship where the wife takes control of decision-making, especially when it comes to children. Child-rearing is costly, and while some men may want to avoid the financial strain of having children, they often feel pressured into fatherhood. Once children are involved, the man's financial and emotional obligations multiply. A 2017 study from the U.S. Department of Agriculture showed that raising a child from birth to 18 years old costs an average of $233,610. That doesn't account for college expenses, which can easily add another six figures to the total. Most men find themselves shouldering the majority of these financial burdens. This is especially onerous if you are a victim of baby trapping or a classic bait and switch where she deliberately gets pregnant against your previously negotiated wishes. Number seven, the unicorn of happily ever after is rare. Many of us often enter marriage with the hope of finding a lifelong companion. 
However, the reality is that after 10 or more years, many find themselves trapped in a relationship that feels more like a transactional business partnership than a romantic union. It is often joked about how happily married men are unicorns, rare and far between. Most guys experience a slow erosion of their autonomy and a sense of self. Number eight, hypergamy and the better deal mentality. Hypergamy is the tendency for women to seek men at a higher status, resources, or social standing. Continues to thrive in today's society. This better deal mentality often keeps women on the lookout for partners with, with more financial security, status, and material advantages. For many men, this creates an environment of constant competition, even after marriage. Social media has only intensified this issue. Platforms like Instagram and TikTok consistently promote idealized images of relationships and lifestyles, fostering unrealistic expectations. Women are often exposed to curated picture-perfect depictions of other people's lives, leading to dissatisfaction in their own relationships. This continuous comparison can fuel the desire for a better partner, as women are bombarded with images of wealthier or more successful men, which further exacerbates hypergamy. Additionally, Studies show that the social media can significantly impact self-esteem and body image, particularly among women. Many are driven to seek validation through likes, comments, and followers, which can lead to narcissistic traits and further erode relationship stability. The pressure of maintaining an Instagram-worthy life can contribute to the relationship dissatisfaction and even breakups or divorces. The numbers tell part of the story. According to the Center of Longitudinal Studies, the Millennium Cohort Study of 2019, nearly 50% of people feel that social media negatively affects their relationship quality and its pervasive influence has linked to unrealistic expectations in women that strain marriages. This modern obsession with curated perfection puts additional pressure on both partners, leaving many relationships vulnerable to dissolution due to comparison and the illusion that a more glamorous life could be had elsewhere after initiating a divorce and breakup of the family. Sadly, the majority of women soon learn the hard way it will never happen. Number nine, emotional stability and moodiness. While it's known that women can experience mood swings due to biological and hormonal changes, men who live with these mood swings on a daily basis often find it exhausting. When moodiness is combined with poor communication skills, the emotional toll on men can be overwhelming. This lack of emotional stability contributes significantly to the breakdown of many marriages. Number 10, autonomy or the loss thereof. Men often find that once they're married, they lose control over various aspects of their lives, from finances to decisions about their personal time. What once was negotiation while dating becomes an imperial demand post-marriage. Men often report that they feel like tenants in their own homes, with little authority over minor decisions like household decor or vacations plans. So, how to protect yourself? Given these 10 compelling reasons men should think long and hard before entering into marriage, however, if you do choose to get married, 
there are several steps you can take to protect yourself. Prenuptial Agreements A well-crafted prenup agreement remains one of the most effective ways to safeguard your assets in the event of divorce. Ensure it is legally binding, transparent, and takes into account potential changes in circumstances, such as income increases or the birth of children. For example, a prenup can be stipulated that the business assets acquired before the marriage remain separate property. However, I need to point out, in many states, doesn't matter how well your prenup is crafted, a family court judge can decide to set it aside. Keep that in mind. It's just one layer of many to protect yourself. The use of LLC structures. Placing significant assets like property or business in an LLC can help shield them from being considered marital assets in the case of divorce. For instance, if you own rental property through an LLC before getting married, it's generally harder for that property to be deemed marital. Regular LLC management, including keeping assets clearly separated from personal accounts, is critical to maintaining this protection. Establish trusts. Trusts are another useful tool for protecting assets. A revocable living trust allows you to control assets while you're alive, but its flexibility may not provide ironclad protection during divorce proceedings. In contrast, an irrevocable trust offers greater security as the assets are no longer considered yours once transferred into the trust. For example, putting investment portfolios in an irrevocable trust can keep them out of divorce settlements. Keep separate financial accounts. Always maintain separate financial accounts to protect personal assets. If you mingle accounts or deposit funds into joint accounts, those funds can become joint property. For example, maintaining a personal account for any inheritances or individual earnings ensures they stay yours. Limit financial exposure. Avoid being the sole breadwinner if possible. When both partners contribute financially, it creates a more balanced partnership. For example, if your spouse has a steady job and income, it reduces your financial vulnerability and diminishes claims of disproportionate asset division. Stay informed about family law. Understanding your state's family laws can save you from financial disaster. Laws governing divorce and property division vary greatly, especially in states like California. For instance, California's community property laws generally split assets 50-50, which can be mitigated with proper asset planning beforehand. Alternative Relationship Models Consider cohabitation instead of formal marriage to reduce financial risk. You can set up legal agreements similar to prenup agreements defining property ownership and asset division without the legal complexities of marriage. For example, a cohabitation agreement can clarify ownership of shared property without it becoming subject to marital asset claims. However, be very careful in the People's Republic of California and the People's Republic of Canada, as they now have some very onerous cohabitation and paternity laws. See a lawyer before you do anything like, let her move in. In today's society, the traditional marriage model no longer serves the best interests of the male sex. We must protect ourselves emotionally, financially, and legally before entering any long-term commitment. The reality is brutal, but understanding it's the first step towards navigating the modern dating and marriage landscape 
without any unnecessary losses. If you found value in this video, then help a brother out and give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who needs to learn from this channel. Confession is good for the soul and this channel. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the story or the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my locals, Rumble, Twitter, Getter, or Gab. Through this, you are leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. If you can't wait for my next new video, then click on one of these right now and watch another instantly. Until next time.